and 60 to 57 on one of Michael Snares game winners. How about that? Way to get to the rim and finish. And Shannon went healthy is one was one of the better six men in this conference. McDaniels got it. That that is obviously a statistic that drastically needs to change. Florida State six seed, Clemson the 11 seed. McDaniels with a baseline drive, hangs and gets it to go. What a drive. Now Booker, good deep position. And the finish by McDaniels. Snare with the assist took two minutes and 40 seconds for the first points to be scored by either team here in the second half. As you said, Clemson played a good 20, but they're going to have to play a good 40. They're going to win this game. Good look in the corner for Nick. Freshman out of Anchorage. And nice defense getting over the screen. And Scott throws it away. Clemson's got numbers. Back to McDaniels. Smith again. Stumbles down the lane. Good shot. Back wow. to the rack, McDaniels. Miami one for five. Well, Tim, Tim, there's a reason Clemson is last in the ACC in scoring and very high in defense, and it's it's very obvious right here. They just have trouble scoring the basketball. They're playing terrific defense. If they can get some points on the board, they can hang in there. Back to Booker. They've been trying to get him involved offensively. McDaniels with a spin move and banks it in. After the showdown against... Devin Thomas and the Demon Deacons. That's on the ACC Network. Check it out online on the official ACC mobile app. Here's McDaniels with the left hand back in, and it's good. He famously, when he won the ACC tournament, they asked him, what are you going to do with the trophy? He's saying, I'm going to strap it to the hood of my Cadillac and drive up and down the back of the road. <laughs> a little bit of a trash talker back in his day, huh? I like it. Oh, yeah. Lefty was not afraid to stir it up with the powers that be, for sure, at any stop. Late in the shot clock, in Duke or North Carolina to go undefeated in ACC play. NC State, 1974, went on to win the national championship. You got to think for Miami, too, you look at their schedule, they're able to get by Wake Forest. I mean, Wake was able to beat and respond, came off a tough game. They just got blown out at home against Duke. Filer gets a steal as Allen hits the deck. Daniels dunks over Alex Lynn. Home game last Sunday against NC State. He had 17. That's his career high. He's a freshman. 15 tonight. Five to shoot. McDaniels gets the spin. Even again. Never a good position to be in with Booker. Sixteen minute mark, second hand. McDaniels. Oh, how did that one go against on the strength of a seven to two spurt? Steal. McDaniels takes it up and dunks. I mentioned Bob George earlier, Georgia Tech, the worst free throwing shooting team in the ACC. McDaniels hits it. Big bucket for Clark. Georgia Tech, you gotta know that there's only five seconds. You don't want to foul. Millard. Nearly got it. McDaniels will drive. He'll dump it inside. It's going to be on the glass and good. It's a big game here on the ACC Network on Wednesday night. And what a play by second time. And I thought he had pretty good lift on that shot, which yes, is where did. that injury would show up. Plus, he hopped back beyond the three point line to take it. Yeah, now he, might, uh, now he looks like he might have tweaked it again. Here's McDaniels, takes the three. Attempts after a strong start, five to ten. Here's Hall inside. No, dumped in there by McDaniel. After that last miss, he asked to be taken out. So Tyler Lewis is back on the floor. Well, I think that is probably more of a conditioning issue than a pain issue with the ankle. It's a, you know he hasn't had a lot of practice time, and I'm sure 
his game fitness is not where it was two weeks ago. Hall oh, trying to probe the left side. Now they'll get it into Booker at the high post. He'll turn and come out. Howell's made him catch away from his comfort zone inside, really battle him for position. Here's KJ McDaniels for three. Joe Harris coming in, averaging 15 points a game. He's a junior. This is a 12 nothing run for the Cavaliers. They're not expecting to get much snow in this part of the country. Nice drive and a stop there. With Look at it this way. They had balance. They didn't have anybody score more than two points. Well, if I guess you want to look at that way and take that as a positive, that is. But really, Clemson doing an awful job running their offense and also defensively breaking down. They need to pick it up in a hurry. Jennings on the spin. Kicks for McDaniels. And a good start. A three-pointer. Like sealed off. Here's Harrison. Tipped by McDaniels. And up and in. How did that go? Henderson flips it out high. Six points, nine rebounds for him. The shot clock. Expiring for the block shot on the move McDaniels and the foul as well. I've seen them a lot. I watched them a lot last year and seen the practice. It's no question he's their best athlete. Young man has great leaping ability and he can run the floor. McDaniels, well at long last, he's well responds to the hustle of Eddie Odio. They've hurt his lower back on that. Uh, <laughs> But you got to love the oh, effort. Play. Yeah, that's kind of a Larry Bird-esque kind of defensive maneuver on his part. Well, here you hear Boston, you have to have Larry yeah. Bird-esque type plays. Throwing your body around with the uh, reckless abandon. Look out. He begins to warm up. Possession arrow right now is to BC on a tie ball. That could be important. And we'll see if Roper stays aggressive along with... Adonis Filer. McDaniels gets the pick from Booker, drives baseline and uses the glass. And if you're Brian Gregory, you've got to be loving Holsey's performance thus far. The Jackets are 8 of 10 from the floor. This is after shooting lights out at home Saturday against the Deeks. McDaniels with the jam. A good defensive sequence by Clemson. They covered the pick and roll and the skip pass all in one possession. Booker works against Miller. McDaniels. And just an update light. Another opportunity for the Tigers to take the lead. Devin Booker. And a can follow. Great point. Udolfia beats Hall off the dribble, then lost the ball. Rod, measured break, live. Good, McDaniels. Mr. Frederick comes to mind at South Carolina, that's for sure. And they had a guy at Furman who could put the ball in the hole, too. They did. Nice reversal. By McDaniels in the paint with a running one-hander. Gets it back. Right now, the Hokies look flat-footed. Yeah, right, so I was just going to say the Clemson early on getting all the 50-50 balls. Good ball movement. McDaniels, three. Yes! Virginia Tech, 0 for 9. McDaniels for three. Bottoms. Under both of them, it scores. So that makes the score 16 to 7, and the Hokies climbing back into it early. Low scoring first half, as we've seen a lot in the ACC this this year. That three-pointer. And the Tigers run with it. Three-point field goals have certainly been a factor for Clemson. This is McDaniels for three more. A little bit. McDaniels with a brick. The follow. And there's McDaniels. High up and slow. Side to Wilbur. Wilbur to Jennings hit him in the face, took his eye off of it. Tigers by one. This is for three. Yes, sir. 
the point. Well, he is wired to score and averages seven points in just under 16 minutes, so he can give you some pretty good production in a short period of time. And Daniels is open for the three, and that's the second triple though for the Clemson touchdown. Janowski shows, Dan McDaniels shoots. Brad Brownell not happy with that shot. The ball kind of died with uh, McDaniels, and he took a long three early in the clock, but rescued the possession. Violet drives inside, lays it off, and the dunk inside by K.J. McDaniels. For, for Michael Snare, he's probably had to create more offense this year than he did last year. Violet. Reach to midcourt here. Clemson trying to get back to 500 in conference play. State trying to stay above the 500 mark. It's a scramble now. The ACC. Nine teams with two or three losses, all right there. And only one without any. And that, inc and that includes Duke, NC State. 13 minutes. Florida State off the line is eight for eight. Here's a steal by Hall. He pass up to Sullivan. And he hang on. He'll yield to McDaniels who scores. Pretty nice play by the. Florida State got into the penalty so quickly in this game. Jennings with four fouls, Devin Booker with three. Here's Rob Hall, top of the floor. Hall has an eight on the shot clock. McDaniel down the lane, puts the shot up and go in. He is really Warren scored the last five for NC State. He has 19 in the game. Nick Daniels answers with just a second. They're calling for that ouster. Uh, talk about taking a scary moment into a uh, entertaining and fun and positive. And now, of course, the roll pack t shirts are. Close to selling out around Raleigh, thanks to Will and CJ's efforts. Triple goes in the corner. Kate was left behind by Oliver Pinnell that had been successful and was able to take that team to NCAA tournament in his first year. Slow start from the floor for Clemson. Just one for four. Both of these teams have play, played games in runs, both positively and negatively. into the paint. Nice dump and the foul. Big time jam. Lake has missed too many up close. You see the presence of KJ McDaniels. The threat of him blocking that shot. And then of course Kavanaugh's over for the floor and taken away again. Clemson with another steal. Tigers on the run. Another jam for McDaniels. Falling away was McCock. That's the one area where Wake Forest has had success. They've been able to gather offensive rebounds on Clemson's end, but just unable to finish many of them. As K.J. McDaniel was looking for the whistle, didn't get it. McDaniels, transition three. What confidence for K.J. McDaniels. Has to win this game, but the confidence and body language for Wake Forest really is just a struggle. Oh, my goodness. It's K.J. McDaniels.